has my work bag all packed. Hello and welcome to a week in my life where I show you everything that I got up to for seven days. Working part time, seeing friends. I had such a good day, honestly. And just enjoying nature. I'm just doing some preparation bits for a lesson I've got today and I've got a taxi booked for 9.15. Just to anticipate questions because people always ask. I'm currently on a gap year but I'm working part time in a school. I choose not to share any more detail than this though just for privacy reasons. But what I will say is that I absolutely love it and it has been the best experience. 8.03 and I've just curled my hair. Not much. This is my work bag all packed. I use the Emily Dickinson tote bag that I've got in America. I'll show you what I keep in here at some point and I've got myself a delicious almond milk iced latte. Slight change of plan. My taxi was meant to be at 9.15. It's now going to be at 8.45. I need to get a move on. I'm back from work and I'm quite tired. I was supposed to go up to London this evening after work and go out for drinks with some friends. But I kind of like, I realized, and I realized really early on in the day that I was gonna be really, really tired. And so I made the executive decision to not go. I am so kind of like socially drained at the moment. I just know I wouldn't be very much fun as well. So instead I'm going to have an evening at home and I've also got quite a lot of work to do. I can get that done too. I've just had two parcels come and so I thought I would open I these. I know what this is. I recently finished my daily moleskin that I use as a common Facebook and so I just ordered a replacement. I get the regular sized plain notebook. And then the second parcel is from Faber and Faber. Faber's probably my favourite publisher. Like if you could be published with anyone. Maybe. So this is Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver. I'm sure I've heard of this. In the southern Appalachian mountains of Virginia, poverty and addiction aren't ideas. They're as natural as the grass grows. For demon born on the wrong side of luck, the affection and safety he craves are as remote as the ocean he dreams of seeing one day. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I don't know what this is. Wait. It's a new edition of Max Porter's Grief is a Thing of Feathers. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And it's signed. Okay, excuse me while I fangirl just slightly. Okay, I'm gonna decompress slightly. I think I'm gonna make myself a coffee and I will check back in with you when I'm actually doing something. So I basically just ended up doing some editing. I was doing my morning routine here. It's now 6.30, I've had dinner and I'm so tired still. I'm gonna go have a shower. Also, before I get changed, I just wanna quickly show, my, show you my outfit because I really like my outfit today. This is my favorite outfit to wear for work at the moment. This vintage beige skirt I got in a shop in Brighton. This is the Academia shirt, which I got secondhand on eBay, but it was originally from Miss Patina. And my glasses are from Blue Bloom. So then I had a shower and I got into my pajamas and I took these helium balloon poetry anthologies outside. So I recently got these printed. It's just a collection of seven poems um, I've written over the last few months and I printed 50 of these and then sold them on my website and I just wanted to go through and number all of them and also I signed all of them too. I've got myself a mug of chocolate digestive tea, which is not very strong. I'm hoping it's going to, I'm gonna steep it for a little bit longer. Here are the anthologies. I've just signed them and also numbered them. 
I just quite like it when people do that. I'm now going to call my dad and I'm going to also put these into, because my dad keeps on texting me, and I'm going to put these into envelopes. I've done the envelopes for half and then here are the stamps. They're these beautiful migrating bird stamps. I've spent the last like hour doing admin tasks and it's now half eight and I'm just gonna quickly write my to-do list for tomorrow. I was also just about to put this camera down on top of my candle, which really would have been a bad idea. There's my candle. There's the to-do list that I used at school. Okay, so let's write my to-do list for tomorrow. Okay, there's my to-do list. Now I'm gonna do my night routine, so um, I will see you in the morning. Yeah, bye. Tuesdays aside entirely to do writing so whether that's poetry or working on my novel because one of my big goals was really taking this year out to write however that did not happen today because I was seeing one of my closest friends Alright, so um, it's 8.30 and I'm just going to go through some um, preparation for a talk that I'm giving tomorrow. I'm really nervous about this as well. This is needed. I've got cold peppermint tea and I've also got ice cold almond latte. Literally my favourite way to have coffee at the moment. I'm just going to do this until 9ish and then I need to try and book a taxi because I'm seeing someone very exciting today. I bet if I've done an intro to this video though, you already know who it is. And I'm just using a sticky note to write down the small tasks that I need to do for this talk tomorrow still. Just finalised that. Also, I'm just in a really good mood. I'm so excited to see... I'm just gonna say, I'm so excited to see Jade. And it's actually not too hot today. These roses are very dead. I didn't get any clips of me actually travelling to see Jade, but here she is. <laughs> so, this is such an exciting day because I finally get to try Ruby's Candlelit Library Bird and Blend blend. <laughs> and this is where you really hate it and it's really awful. No. <laughs> I get to create the tea with the creator herself. So she was giving me all the tips of exactly how much I should include, how long I should steep it for. So, I'm excited to try. Oh, oh, it smells so good. Deciding the optimal amount of milk. Du, 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 du. So after a mandatory hour of chatting over tea, we cycled down to this river with a magnificent vegan picnic and just the most incredible view and incredible company. Jade and I have been friends for five years now and though we rarely see each other, we are still very close. I know! It's been so long. And I feel like me and Ruby just have such aligned hobbies. Like, Literally, we're... oh my gosh. Like cycling and then vegan picnicking and then reading and then writing. writing. Brilliant and it's chatting. Like, and chatting and tea. Yes. Oh my gosh, I got to try. Oh, you yeah, got no, to. Yeah, I did vlog. I had to do it. 
<laughs> I'm telling you like you have no idea. This is one of my favorite secret spots on the river. So I really wanted to show Ruby. Please do take this as your sign to find a day to go on a picnic with one of your best friends because you will not regret it. And when we got back from our picnic, we did a writing exercise. So we got AI to give us a writing prompt, like the first line of a story. And then both of us had to write a piece and then we shared it and our perfectionism was definitely kicking in. And we were both insisting how terrible ours were, but honestly, Jade's was incredible. But then we were both thoroughly humbled because we got AI to write its own response to this stimulus and AI did it so much better than both of us. I just got back from Jade's. I had literally the best afternoon. I'm so glad that I went and it just had been so long since we properly caught up and even then it was not long enough. I had to come back now because I've got therapy at seven. So I'm just gonna check into my therapy session now and I will see you afterwards. Just finished therapy and had a shower as you can tell. Um, I've written myself a short to-do list. It's now 8.30. I just want to finalize the handout for the talk tomorrow and do some admin, but other than that, I'm just gonna get into bed because um, I've got quite a long day tomorrow and I don't wanna be too tired. These bananas have started to go kind of gross, so I'm gonna freeze them and just save one for breakfast tomorrow. It's 20 to 11 and I'm gonna get into bed and read. And I'm currently reading OK Days by Jenny Mustard. She is amazing. I was not expecting her writing to just be so fantastic. And I'm going to the book corner with this tomorrow, so I want to try and finish it by then. I've also got my outfit set out. <laughs> I'm just doing some preparation bits. So I'm not leaving for another hour and a half. Actually, that's really soon. I thought I had longer. So then here I was practicing for that talk I had today. Okay, I'm leaving for work in like five minutes. So I'm gonna say goodbye and I will see you afterwards when I'm in a taxi on the way to London. On the way to the station, which will then take me to London. I'm not getting a taxi all the way to London. Just waiting for my taxi now. We've got worst angle in the world. So I was at work from 9 to 4 this day and I went straight to the station afterwards and I picked up this Caramel Cold Brew by Califia, I think that's how you say it, and I would highly recommend all of their coffees. I love this. I'm here at the station. I had such a good day, honestly, like such a good day. Like, I'm on a high, I'm really buzzing. The talk that I was really nervous for went well, went better than I thought it would. The meetings I had, just like everything, just everything went okay. All these things I'd been nervous about actually like ended up coming into fruition. That feels like a win. So I'm now here at the station and going to head out. I'm gonna have about two hours before the um, book launch. So I think I might just go find somewhere to get some dinner. On the train, of course, I read some more of my book and I decided to go to the National Portrait Gallery, which I had never actually been to before, but I loved it. I stayed here for about half an hour. I was most excited to find the portrait of Shakespeare. I was really in the mood for one and I also picked up some dinner. She's won the Authors Club First Novel Award and the Betty Task Betty Trask Award and has been shortlisted for the Costa Novel Award. 
It was basically a conversation between Dakota Warren, um, I'm sure you're familiar with Dakota's work, she's a fantastic poet. She was interviewing Jenny Mustard and Rowan Buchanan about their two recent books. The whole thing was interesting, I want to read both of the books now. And I also met just some really great people. Um, I'm currently here with Karis and Karis has got the most beautiful tote bag on the planet. Sorry, just, <laughs> just fangirling over the tote bag. Stop just... academia core. <laughs> Same. Hello, oh my gosh, lift lighting is actually not that terrible. It usually is really bad. These she's I've had since I was at school, her sick form. And then I've got my vintage skirt, the same one as Monday, and a black top and my Agnes B cardigan. And it was such a nice event. Doors open. See, vlogging is very awkward, but also I'm realising that I'm not going to see these people again. I'll regret not getting this clip. But I probably won't regret somebody like staring and laughing. And it's also quite quiet to be fair. Um, but the event was really, really great. Both Rowan and Jenny spoke so well. Even more excited to read some more of this on the train. And also reading um, Rowan's book, The Sleep Watchers. And just while I'm travelling back from London, I'm going to read you a short extract from OK Days. I truly enjoy holidays. Relish them as if a taste to attentively savour. The way Luke and I already seemed installed finding our closest little shop on our way home from our swim last night, to buy orange juice and olives and toilet paper in, the way we're developing vacation-specific habits like coffee and Twitter news in bed. woke up this morning to rain it was the most wonderful sound honestly it woke me up at five in the morning because it was torrential and i was going to get up but my my alarm was set for 7 30 so i'd actually had enough sleep because i got in kind of late last night i went to bed kind of late last night i really do want to try and start prioritizing my sleep a little bit more because i don't get eight hours every night and yet it's probably the best thing that you can do for your body to get eight hours every night And I'm just going to write my to-do list now in my planner. Um, my to-do list isn't that long today, actually. Mm -mm, I say that, actually. Not that long. There are a few things I want to do. And then I'm seeing my grandma later, which would be really nice. Have, like, a productive morning this morning, get everything done. And then in the afternoon, I quite like the idea of just having an afternoon, like, writing or reading. I try to take Thursday afternoons, like, really slow. I did start the morning with such a lovely task. I wrote a letter to Chris Riddell, who is an author, one of my favourite authors, and one of the most creative children's writers, I think, currently working. Um, it's like seriously nearly 10 o'clock, well I say it's 20 to 10 and I've hardly done anything today. My plan still is to try and get everything on my to-do list done before midday when my grandma comes and then I can always write another to-do list for the afternoon if I want to. It's just good to kind of like have the big tasks done. I've got two things which are urgently in for tomorrow so I'm going to do those next. Getting myself another coffee which is probably bad, I'm actually drinking too much coffee at the moment but it's just really good. But I'm going to make a like brown sugar shaken espresso. Do you want to balance you on? So what I do, this is very easy but also so delicious. So you start with some ice, I always pour coffee everywhere so not too bad I suppose. Some brown sugar. We don't have brown sugar, we've only got golden castor sugar, oh well. So I'm just going to take like a teaspoon of that and put that in there. And then I'm just going to pour it into this cup I was using earlier. So I've last minute changed to have a meeting with um, my team, Pumpkin Productivity. Well, I say team, I work with one other person. We've just signed off the planner, so today we're going to be talking through the marketing plan. I have recently been getting lots of questions about the Pumpkin Productivity Academic Planner, and I can confirm that we will be releasing another one. It will come out at the very start of August and genuinely I'm so excited to share it. I'm so happy with how it's looking. We've worked so hard on it. So in the call today we were going over operations, specifics on delivery dates etc to our warehouse and we briefly chatted through the marketing plan but decided that we would leave that until next week instead. 
So then next I went on a walk to the post box and I posted that letter to Chris Riddell, also another one to a friend in Norway. And it was such a beautiful morning and so great to just get outside. I always feel better after a walk. Oh, and yes, I walked back the entire way with my bag completely open and I didn't realize until I was editing. So I really hope nothing fell out and I don't think anything did. And as soon as I got back, I also watered the plants. Uh, these are tomato plants here in those massive pots. So then this is very shortly afterwards. I went on a walk with my grandma. As I say, she was coming over. There's my grandma. And it was just so great to chat. And afterwards I made us both lunch and we sat outside and um, I spent maybe about like three hours with her. And then after she left, I got on with some more work. Honestly, it's very unsatisfying to even like talk through this work because it, it's mainly all admin. This week I just had a lot of like little tasks and things. I'm gonna go print my script quickly. I had such a great time with my grandma as well. We went on a walk, but I've hardly done anything on my to-do list today. It just feels like a lot of admin keeps on coming up, which has slightly been interfering. I just mentioned that I was doing that assembly without any context, but yes, I was doing an assembly and so I just printed out this script and put it on cue cards. It just makes me feel more confident to have these. I can't find either of my other pairs of glasses. Oh well, I can see with these. I've just ordered some of the Nature Journals on Doxu and also a second print run of the helium balloons because um, lots of people are asking about that. And if you're curious, this is the Nature Journal. It's a scan of the one that I kept during spring and the top one is the poet. And now I'm gonna go on a run. I'm well aware that it's been ages since I last checked in. I'm going away with my best friend this summer for a short while and so I just booked my flight and was doing some research of things for that. Also, I managed to take some things off which actually were very important. Actually, I'm really annoyed because I wanted to sit outside and enjoy like the sunset and read my book and I didn't do that and I just realized that it's pit back outside, honestly. I hope you sleep well, and I will see you in the morning. Good morning, I'm just about to grab some breakfast. It's about like quarter to seven. My friend is picking me up to take me to work today um, in about an hour. It's actually quite cold today. So I practiced for that assembly in the morning and I did a little bit of writing in the morning as well actually, also painted my nails. I am wearing the same outfit as I did on Monday, but I don't really have many like work outfits that work for summer. And so I've mainly just been reusing this one and term breaks up soon. So I don't really want to go and buy loads of stuff. I also don't want to forget those. I've got my flashcards there. I'm leaving for work in about like 10 minutes. And so I should be back home at around like 4.30. It's Friday afternoon, it's 4.30. I just got back from my driving lesson. I'm quite tired, I'm not gonna lie, but I've just had a really cool parcel come, which is just a good start to the weekend. So I completely forgot to actually show you what this was, but basically Crosstown Donuts had sent me some donuts. And, oh my gosh, this is literally just the best way to start the weekend. I'm gonna have half of each of these because I can't decide which one to have. So this one is blueberry cheesecake, and oh my gosh, there's like so much jam. Donuts are my favorite sweet treat as well. Mud pie, which oh my gosh, is like massive. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And I'm gonna take the bigger half. And then afterwards, I went outside and ate these in the rose garden in the pouring rain and it was so lovely. I also have had some book mail come, so I thought I'd open this up. So this is, wow, oh my gosh, I love the cover. This is another book set in Victorian England. It follows three very different young women as they make their way through late Victorian England at the cusp of great societal change. It's 1896, Terza, Sophia and Polly are best friends who've left boarding school and gone back to very different lives. Polly is teaching in an orphanage, Sophia is looking for a rich husband, and Terza is stuck acting as an unpaid companion to her grandmother. And I can't wait to read this, and I love that it's written in letters. Wait, this is actually so beautiful. I have no idea what this is, but it's stunning. So it's an illustrated Grimm's fairy tale. Oh my, I'm actually obsessed with the illustrations. I might actually try binding this myself because it's so gorgeous. <laughs>
My trousers are soaked. I really should have worn my waterproof trousers. Like, look. <laughs> it's quite a bit later now and I've just spent the evening getting some work done. It's just been so cozy, honestly. This is the... It'd be hot. No. Use your home Almalfi. And the sky is kind of going slightly lilac. But my room just feels so cozy. There's a poem I want to submit to a magazine. Um... It will probably get rejected. No, I shouldn't say that. Positive mental attitude. I basically spent the rest of the evening working on some poems and cleaning those up. And then here we are on Saturday and I just left this present for my mum because uh, my parents have been away this week. And then I just did some writing in the morning and as a mid-morning snack, I had some more donut and coffee. These donuts were just so good. I was also reading um, OK Days. I really did not manage to finish this on the time frame that I was hoping to, um, but I thought that I would read you another extract while I'm finishing it. That first night, we didn't mention the past or the future and just got used to being in the same place. With the sun halfway slit by the horizon, we went for a swim, which was cold and thrilling, then ate dinner in the dark garden. My intention was just to sit down and read 25 pages of OK Days, but I ended up finishing it because it was, it's the perfect thing to read on a weekend, honestly. It, when Jenny did her interview on Wednesday, she said it kind of had a vibe of Sunday morning and I definitely got that. So it's midday and I haven't done my main task of the day yet, which I really tried to do in the morning. I'm gonna do that now, which is actually submitting poems to publications. I did actually end up submitting something to a publication and this is actually a very big win, just the act of submitting it, uh, nothing to do with whether it gets accepted or not. There's something powerful in just putting your work out there, even if you're scared and embarrassed, and I definitely would recommend it to people. I will say though, it's highly hypocritical of me because despite making a goal to submit stuff to publications once a week, I definitely have not done that because of perfectionism and fear and embarrassment it, but theoretically I think it's a really good idea and this is your sign to submit something if you have been meaning to. Oh and as you can see here I just cleaned the kitchen and I did change into a darker coloured sweatshirt because I was very scared of getting my cream on ruined. I've cleaned the kitchen and I think I'm gonna go on a run now it's half one and then when I get back I'm gonna do my monthly and weekly plans because tomorrow I'm planning on spending time with my family so I'd rather get that done today. I was just doing some filming for a different video and now I'm gonna get ready because I am going to a ball this evening. I'm 45 minutes till I leave. And it is like a formal event. So everyone's wearing dresses and heels and things. I have court shoes that I wear and I wear the same shoes every single time. Um, outfit of the day actually as well. This blue striped linen top and these culottes. I'm gonna get changed. I'm just wearing this simple black dress. And can you even see me? I have. No idea because the mirror is now blocking it. I probably won't film whilst I'm, well I won't film while I'm there. So I'm going with my friend. It should just be really really nice. So I'm just going to put some sun cream first. Well face cream but I don't have normal face cream so I use sun cream. And then I've got some CC cream. Concealer. I love the packaging on this one. My mum bought it and then it was the wrong shade for her. To be fair it's too light for me as well. It's currently half five. I'm going to wear more makeup than I usually would do because it is like a special occasion. The eyeshadow palette I use is the Too Faced Just Peachy. I really like pink eyeshadow, it's like the only eye color, it's the only eyeshadow color, color which I'd wear. And I think it's the novelty of it smelling like peaches which is why I really wanted to get this one specifically. I'm really bad at doing mascara, it always goes everywhere. And then the final thing I'm gonna do is put on some, where should I just put it? Um, the Generation G. I really wanted to wear the dark pink one, but I can't find it, so I'm gonna wear this one, which I think is cake. And then I'm gonna put on some lip gloss on top of that again from Glossier. I just mainly use Glossier, to be honest. 
And there we go, makeup done. I'm just adding as well this um, shawl because since it's strapless, I think I'll feel more comfortable wearing this. Um, and I can take it off if I feel comfortable enough, but I probably would just keep it on the whole time. Um, I've also got this, and in here, if you're wondering, I bring my phone, I've got some Gaviscon tablets, I've got my notebook, I've got one of the mini Penguin Black Classics and a pen, and then my key and some lip balm. But I will see you when I'm back. I just got back and had the best time, and now I'm very tired, so I'm going to go to sleep. I saved my coffee for after my walk because I didn't want to rush it and I really was fancy going on a walk. I went to bed at about 1.30, which was silly, but I stayed up reading. I'm going to quickly do a food shop online. My family's just sent me a list of everything that they want, so I'm going to do that and then I actually might make a timetable. The module selection for my master's course had just come through, so I was doing some research into the different choices and trying to come up with a decision. Very hard to do, honestly. Brief intermission for tea time with Ruby. This is the caramelised biscuit tea. Mmm, it tastes so much like caramel. And it's got that nice maltiness to it too, which is like what you've got in the chocolate digestive. Okay, I'm going to take this outside actually. I'm going to go outside and it's quite cold, so I've just changed into a sweatshirt instead. I've just been doing admin for like the last hour and a half. I feel like this is a running theme now. I'm just always doing admin, but it's nearly the end of like the academic year and so it just feels like there's a lot of little things that need to be done. Um, I just booked and like finalised all of this stuff for a trip that I'm taking with my best friend. It's literally just been going back and forth, like loads of things just kept on going wrong with our bookings. So it's really good to have that all locked in. I'm now going to go on a run to clear my head a little bit. But first I just quickly baked a banana bread because I like to bake something every Sunday. I haven't updated you for quite a while but I'm gonna sign off the video here because my parents have been away for the last week and they just got back so I'm spending the evening with them. But thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you have more than just a productive week. In the evening my parents and I had a curry which was so delicious. I just spent a lot of time outside basically, I picked some flowers, um, I just spent time with my parents and it was exactly what a Sunday evening should be.